I'm Raywin Connell. Uh, I'm very pleased to be talking to you. Um, I'm a social scientist. Uh, I've been an academic uh, all my working life. I've taught in eight different universities, mostly in Australia, but also in some other countries. And I'm now retired at the end of a, an academic career. Um, I'm a, a socialist and a feminist, and my research has reflected this. Uh, I've done research on class inequalities, uh, on gender in various forms, on education, um, especially social justice in schools, on questions of sexuality, especially in the AIDS epidemic. Uh, I've also done research on intellectuals um, and the, the sociology of knowledge. And I've written a number of books on these, uh, some of which you might be able to find. Uh, excuse my Spanish accent. Uh, one is called El Genero En Serio. Uh, another is called Masculinidades. Um, and another, uh, in which you'll find it only in English, uh, is called Southern Theory, about social theory from the Global South. Um, in, um, in recent years, I've done a fair bit of work on intellectuals, um, uh, researching the sociology of knowledge, especially on a world scale. So I've been thinking about the, the global patterns in knowledge. And, of course, as a university worker, very much concerned with what's been happening to universities, uh, not all of which is pretty, um, and questions of social justice in, in access to universities. This is my latest book, in fact. Uh, it's called The Good University. Um, and um, you'll find uh, a good um, selection of my ideas there. Uh, you'll also find them on my website, which is uh, open access, of course, and you're most welcome to, to look at my stuff there. Um, in recent years, I've also been concerned to bring uh, questions of gender together with questions about global structures and particularly the global economy of knowledge. So I've been concerned about how gender and, gen and theories about gender uh, appear from global south perspectives rather than as it's usually done. Uh, in terms of perspectives that come from the global north. And in that vein, I'm fairly critical of some very familiar and influential perspectives about trans issues uh, that come mostly to us from the United States um, and emphasise questions of individual identity as the things that matter in the lives of trans men, trans women, travesty and, and other groups um, who are involved in some kind of, of gender crossing. Um, so I am rather critical of those perspectives and I think that if we start from the experience of the Global South, which is of course incredibly varied, um, then we do actually come up with different perspectives on, on trans politics. So I would see, for instance, the, the most important questions in, in the lives of, of trans men and trans women, especially trans women who is part of the, the larger group of women in a patriarchal society are facing all kinds of issues of violence and justice. But it seems to me that the, the, the central issues in, in trans lives most widely uh, questions of poverty, of, of uh, economic survival, questions about housing, uh, about displacement such as migration or social dis dislocation, questions of safety and protection from violence which is all too important in the lives of, of trans women, questions of health, uh, not only um, <coughs> The, the services involved in gender transition, but more general questions about, about health. Relationships with families, often very important in our lives. Uh, and questions of respect, including respect in educational institutions like schools and universities. So questions of trans groups' access to education, including higher education, seem to me really quite important 
issues of, of social justice. So it seems to me broadly then that the trans politics needs centrally uh, an agenda of social justice and a political concern with solidarity um, with other groups who are you know, suffering from social inequalities and, and exclusion. And an agenda of social justice in a globalised world, in a world that's internationally connected, where our media are so international, multinational, transnational, call it what you will, that our politics also has to be transnational, um, has to involve concern with solidarity across different parts of the global globe. And from that point of view, especially, I'm very pleased to have this connection with you, to be able to make this video and make some kind of, of preliminary contact with you. And I'd be very happy if this can be followed by further connections uh, in the future. So thank you for listening. It's great to be in touch with you. And, and I wish you all the best. Vivita y volveré como vuelves